We'll take a look at NXT 900 series frame synchronizers in this video along with Skahoy RCPs. Because a frame synchronizer like this one does not only synchronize your video signal, it also allows you to color correct the signal. And uh, these beautiful small devices in blue color, just like Skahoy, it goes really well together, um, can be controlled with our RCP. Because that's what you need. You really need an RCP panel whenever you take a frame synchronizer and you want to use it like a camera that can be shaded. And in this case, I took a Marshall camera, which can in fact be shaded by Skahoy RCPs. I'll show you that in a different video, but now today we just imagine it's a GoPro and you can't do anything about it. So you take your five, four GoPro cameras into the frame synchronized, it comes out synchronized and you can color correct them as well, adjusting all these parameters. And that's what we're gonna look at. So you need the RCP to do so. And um, a Skahoy RCP is divided into sections. You have a section with a parameter control in the top, and then you have a section in the bottom where you can adjust iris, master black, and um, enable preview for the source that you're working on. So that's how we have um, uh, designed the RCP. And in this particular case, we have a very special feature, which is one of the options you can purchase for our RCP. That's the roller uh, wheel, thumb wheel. So instead of having an Irish joystick, you can now m use your thumb to adjust values. This becomes really useful when you have a case like this, where you want to adjust up to four channels from the same panel. So if that's what you do, it's a problem with a physical joystick that will be stuck in a position. And then when you change to a different camera or different uh, channel in the frame synchronizer, it doesn't match anymore the value that you're now adjusting. So this is why a um, the roller wheel is a really nice um, uh, feature to have on the RCP whenever you have multiple cameras, multiple channels to adjust. All right. And let's take a look at what the frame synchronizer can do. I have the web interface of it right here. So you see frame sync one, two, three, and four. And um, they have different parameters, obviously. We can uh, dive right into it and look at the iris section. So let's just make sure that you can see what is in here. We have a button like preview on or off. Okay, and we have some um, settings. We can enable disable here, shift key, system status, and then you see the gain. So it's not iris, but it's the gain, the proc gain of the uh, frame synchronizer, the incoming video input. And we see that value in the uh, web interface right now. And we now adjust it by, oh, sorry, I'm actually on channel two. So uh, then let's go to frame sync two. And there you see uh, 51%. I can adjust this with the, uh, the thumb wheel up and down. And you see it's reflected in the web interface. You can also see it on the output picture that we are actually adjusting this parameter off. Um, no, you can't because we are on channel one with that. So I need to go back to channel one. This will just give me a chance to show you how we can change the the, the channel in the frame synchronizer. Well, we did it two ways. So uh, one way is that you hold down the shift key and use this knob to uh, go back to channel number one and you see it right there. But actually we also put channel selector buttons in the top here. So those four purple buttons, if I change those, you can see that um, actually you can't see it right now. Yeah, well, you can actually. So this is channel two, channel three, channel four. We go back to channel one because then we can see it on the output. So we are now on channel one. I'm adjusting the value on channel one. Let's make sure the web interface is synchronized and, and you can now see the effect on the picture. So far, so good. Let's focus on the parameter section in top of the uh, RCP. Now I want to sh make sure that you can also see the display because here you have all the various settings. How we typically configure the RCP like this is by using buttons like these to uh, select different aspects of the menu up here. So now if I press this one, you see we have color coded encoders. So you see red, green, blue, uh, neutral or luminance. Uh, they are matched with display tiles. So you have the gain Y, gain R, G and B. And um, let's find the color corrector part of the web interface so we can see it reflected here as well. They are all now 100%. So I should be able to actually change these values using these encoders right there. And you can see that I'm changing these um, values down, down here. So of course, when I, I change this one, uh, the, the Y parameter is not directly available here. So that's like a parallel adjustment of red, green and blue. And uh, otherwise, red, green, and blue is available as individual uh, values here. If I press this one, I can have uh, coarser steps. And you see the values are changing in the web interface. 
you should also be able to see the change over here. If I press and hold, I'm resetting the parameter, and there you see that it was uh, just going back to a more neutral tone. Obviously, the neutral tone is probably what you, you want to, to achieve. So in this case, the camera is not that far off. So um, anyway, we have the offset values, red, green, and blue as well. If I go to the next level of this menu, you see access to uh, the program, which again, is gain, pedestal, chroma, and hue. Now, the gain is the same value that I had on the thumb wheel. So there's a redundancy right there, but we chose it because we then bring together parameters that are related. Those for the program, you also see in the web interface right here. So uh, we can adjust the chroma. You haven't seen that changing yet. Okay. So let's just recap. We have a frame synchronizer, four inputs, HDMI, the NXT 910 series, Output SDI that goes into your vision makes the system. You can adjust it with the Skahoy RCP. Having the thumb roller as an option is really cool if you want to use one RCP for all four channels in the NXT 910. Uh, and um, then it's basically a device that would one day work with the NXT 910. Another day it might shade cameras, real cameras. Another day, I don't know what. You can always do whatever you want with Skahoy panels because they are so configurable. Something that you do with a firmware application where you basically connect with a USB cable and then you can access a local configuration interface that will pop up in a web browser, allow you to do changes. Um, now it was enabled already, so let's just quickly press this one and then you'll see it's, it's bringing up a web interface for the frame synchronizer where you can go uh, press a knob and then you have access to uh, uh, rearranging how or which parameters you, you want to adjust. The final thing I want to say about this one is that in the third menu, you have access to audio gain parameters. So you now see it has 16 uh, audio channels we can adjust gain for. So this is the first eight. If I hold down the shift key, we have access to gain parameters nine up to 16 right there, as you would uh, expect. And using the, uh, the, the button share, we can adjust the, the, the values, as you see, for these various channels. Okay, that's it.